God bless you. I am First Lady Alexis Hammond, along with my husband, Pastor Marcus Hammond. We welcome you to St. Song Church of God in Christ. We're located at 833 East 21st Avenue in Gary, Indiana. Hallelujah. We're so glad that you decided to be here with us. Don't you scroll nowhere. Stay right here with us. Hallelujah. We're located at 833 East 21st Avenue in Gary, Indiana. Hallelujah. My Sunday morning services are 11 a.m. And our Bible study is on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Won't you please join us? This is our online service. Man, also, First Lady, I just want to take a moment this morning, this great Sunday morning, to send a shout out to some of our frontline workers. Amen. Amen. Thank God for those who make it possible for the, us to make this new normal uh, normal. Right. Amen. And so, thank God for those who are working in the, the gas stations and the grocery stores. They, yes. they frontline workers. They are good friends. And, and they come to work every day, yes. working eight-hour shifts. Thank God that they didn't take the attitude, I'm going to stay home. But they came out and made our life, help our life to be somewhat normal. God bless you and have a smile upon you. Amen. Amen. We want you to check us out on YouTube at St. Home, Church of God in Christ. We want you to like it. We want you to share it and subscribe. Hallelujah. Follow us on Facebook at St. Home. And on Instagram at St. Home Coated. On Twitter at St. Home underscore God in. And we also have a prayer line this Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. And the phone number is 712-770-5603. And the access code is 353-465. Let's enjoy the services. God bless you.
who represent you. Help us to be a proper representation of who you are. Father, we thank you for that. So, Father, we ask that you will put your ability on our response. And, Lord, that gives us our responsibility. Our responsibility to walk in faith. Unshakable faith. Father, it is our responsibility to show them the light, to be the light. Father, it is our responsibility to have them to look up for their soul. Salvation draw it now. So, Father, right now, pray right now. Help us to be responsible. It's our responsibility to keep our minds staying on you. And so, Father, right now, I acknowledge that my responsibility is to trust in you. Regardless of what happens, what's going on, what the government says, it's our responsibility, Father, to trust in you. Hallelujah. So listen, why I go? I want you to do this. Repeat after me. And say, Father, I trust you. Father, in the midst of the crisis, in the midst of confusion, I trust you. Father, in the midst of situations, I will have peace. Father, in spite of trouble, I will come out victorious. I will come out strong. And I thank you for it. Tell me again, I thank you for it. Right now, in Jesus' name. Now begin to praise him like you already have the victory. Hallelujah. Right there in your home, praise him like you already have the victory. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
I'm so glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning. I just want to give him his highest praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning, I'll be reading for you from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 6. Behold, I will bring in help and cure. And I will cure them and reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And may the Lord add a blessing to the hand and the reading of his holy word. Amen. bless you. If you would like to be a blessing to our ministry, please go to our website. We're at www.saintshomekojic.org. Again, that's www.saintshomekojic.org. There, you will have the opportunity to give via PayPal, Visa or MasterCard, or Cash App. You can also mail it to us at 833 East 21st Avenue, Gary, Indiana, 46407. Thank you for your consideration on the matter.
this great Sunday morning. It is good to be here in the house of the Lord and come to you in ministry. I want to thank God for all the, who have participated in this service on this morning. To God be the glory. God appreciate. God sees your ministry. God sees your heart. And so to God be the glory. And so we are ready to get into the word of the Lord. Are you ready for a word from the Lord on this morning? Amen. I'm excited about God's word. So if you would, turn with me to Matthews. Hallelujah. The Gospel of Matthews, the first chapter. We want to look at verse 17. And then we want to look at Matthews, the 11th chapter and the 28th verse. All right. Do you have your Bibles? Are you ready to dive into the word of the Lord? We want to continue to have a ministry here. Amen. God bless you, our online audience, on um, this morning. All right. Here in Matthews, the, elect, the first chapter, verse 17, and it reads, All the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David unto the carried away into Babylon are 14 generations generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. All right, now if you would, go with me to the 11th chapter. Stay in the same book of Matthews, and let's go to the 11th chapter of Matthews. And scroll down with me, if you would, to verse 28. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. All right. Are you there? Amen. Here in verse 28, it reads, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Hallelujah. May God have a blessing to the reading and the, the hearing of his words. And so I'm going to take my thought on this morning. Bless me in the scattering. Bless me in the scattering. If I was going to use a subtopic this morning, my subtopic would be stay home. Hallelujah. Stay home. Home. Yeah. Hallelujah. Won't you bow your heads with me in a word of prayer? Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for this day. But we realize that this is the day that you have made. Oh, we are rejoicing. We are glad about all that you're doing, all that you're going to do. Oh, to God be the glory. Lord. God be the glory. We pray right now, Lord Jesus, you allow me to decrease that you might increase. I pray, Lord, let your right now flow in this place, Lord. Let your anointing flow. They anointing, Lord, that destroy every yoke. That anointing that break every chain. Loose your hold, Satan. In the name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. We rebuke you right now. We cast you down. We cast out every demonic force. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Oh, Babylon. How many generations? 14 
generations. It says from Babylon to Jesus. How many generations? 14 generations. And you say, okay, pastor, what is the significance, preacher? What is the significance? Well, if I take you back to Genesis 1, we see that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. And so we know that God, in six days, God created the heavens and the earth. And on the seventh day, God rested. And so then, seven signifying uh, completion. Seven, if you will, meaning completion. And if you would notice then, that seven plus seven equals 14. Oh, hallelujah. And so then we must acknowledge it. We must appreciate. Come on here, somebody help me, somebody. We must acknowledge, we must appreciate God. We must appreciate the preciseness, the accuracy, the awesomeness of God. I come to tell you, what a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him. The angels bow down before him. What a mighty God we serve. And so you can see that in history, you can see this is no accident. In history, when we reflect back, this is no coincidence. Oh, what a mighty God. And so can I go and push this a little bit further here? You will see then in revisiting uh, the genealogy of Jesus in uh, the book of Matthews, we have come to realize that it is encouraging and it's always been a blessing and a scattering. Yes, there's always been a blessing and uh, the scattering from Abraham to David, a blessing. From David to Babylon, a blessing. From Babylon to Jesus Christ, a blessing. Oh, hallelujah. And even now, even now, God is orchestrating a scattering. Oh, y'all hear me today? For I am here and you are there. I am here and you are in porch. I am here and you are in muster. I am here and you are in hiding. There is a blessing in the scattering. Hallelujah. Oh, to God be the glory. For I am here and you are in Annapolis. I am here and you are in Maryville. There is a blessing yet in the scattering. And so then, uh, look at this. Look back in history. Notice the people, hallelujah, God had the people to move from their home to a new home. And hallelujah. But, so, but yet the instructions, which were somewhat of an oxymoron, the instructions remained the same. Hallelujah. The instructions were yet to stay home. They had to move from a new home, their old home, to a new home, but the instructions remained the same. Stay home. Are you hearing me on the day? And so then we realize that sometimes God in his omniscient has to move us in the opposite direction that he might reveal to us the right direction. Are you hearing me on this morning? And so I don't know about you on today, but I've had in my life, I've had a Jonah experience. And so you may say, Pastor, preacher, what is a Jonah experience? A Jonah experience is when you feel like and you believe you're going in the right direction. A Jonah experience is when you feel and when you really believe you're making the right decision. Are you here on the day? For God, you look at the text, if you look in the Bible, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Hallelujah. But Jonah engages his common sense and tell God that doesn't make any sense. And so in, in actuality, in all in essence, Jonah tells God, I got this. I wonder how many times have we told God without even realizing, without even thinking about it, I got this. And to push God to the side. Oh, hallelujah. But I come to tell you, I want to thank you all for your grace and your mercy. Because I realize I had a Jonah experience. But I want to thank you this morning, Lord. Nobody knows where I was. They don't know what I've been through, but you know, Lord Jesus. And so, Lord, I want to thank you this morning. Mm, hallelujah. This morning, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, Lord, from the depths of my soul. Oh, hallelujah. Mm, I want to 
Are you hearing me? Easy does not necessarily mean promptly. It does not necessarily mean expeditiously. But you got to understand, easy could mean, it could mean exhausting. Easy could mean challenging. Easy are you all here on the day. Easy could mean the time for getting rougher. Easy could mean cringe worthy. But I come to tell you today, I want to take 
excitement. Outside his grace is fear. Outside his grace is anxiety. Outside his grace is novosity. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me on this morning. But yet in the amazing, in the amazing, yet we find ourselves, find ourselves living, wanting to live outside of the grace of
just as you are, weary, worn, and sad. He loves you on this morning. Do not yield to temptation. There is a war out this morning to stay home. Stay in the house. Lord, I pray that you bless your people, Lord, to stay home, stay in the house, stay under your grace, stay under your mercy, your healing virtue. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen.